Dad died August 1st, 1973. Born May 21st, 1939. He was a bronc rider, and I remember when he used to teach me how to ride my horse. Want to go for a ride, Gordy? Yeah. Where? Where you want to go? How you doing, Seymour? My name is Kevin Allen, and I'm a Fountain Indian. I live in the Fountain Reserve with my brother Gordy and my, my other brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and grandparents. I like staying in Fountain better than any other place I've seen anywhere. I've been living with my grandparents ever since my dad died three years ago. I call my grandmother Mama ever since I've been living with her. She has arthritis now, but she still likes to come fishing. My grandmother, she has eight children, 58 grandchildren, 68 great-grandchildren, and three and a half great-great-grandchildren. Here comes one, Gavin. He's coming. Watch it now. Don't lose him. He went under the slug. Didn't he come out? Yep. Did you get it? Yep. Look at this thing. Good one. Yep. Fat. See? In the spring, we go to Fountain Stream to catch trout. The trout are spawning, so you can catch lots of them. You see, the old way we used to make this, they call it milkweed, it's down the river. And it's to pound it out and dry it. Grandpa makes fishing nets and fixes them for me and my and grandmother. Springs out of it. There's lots of, lots of hard He remembers stuff. when there was no cars around here. Just boats and horses, and then the railroad came. Grandpa is 84, and he can't get around as much as he used to, but he sure can tell some good stories. The old guy I was, I was listening to when he was telling about his experience about the Sasquatch, he never hold his ground. As soon as he seen that thing, he, he beats it, you know. This Sasquatch is a big, hairy creature so that is about six shot. feet tall. And my friend told me that he thinks he saw one when he's walking to school. It's lucky he got a ride. Sasquatch is coming towards me. I think I'll hold my ground. He looked at me and he says, 
There's no man alive can stand and face a Sasquatch. My knife is kind of dull. Yeah, hold my knife. I'll show you how to scrape it. Oops! I guess this is not There aren't many people who still can hide what Aunt Rose does. This is the old one. See how easy Whenever my cousins go hunting, they give us the deer hide. You just... You have to do it hard? Yeah. Have a little bit more this way. This part. First, you take off the fur. Then you have to soak it to get it soft, and then wring it out really good. Now you can start drying it. And keep on down. Go right down to the bottom. Looks like a snake. Oh, don't scare you, Auntie. Let's stretch this thing out. We gotta get it tanned. Here, grab it over here. So. Pull! <laughs> Over here. Pull, pull, pull. You twisted them. There. No, you tied up there. No, over here, over here, over here. Tie it when right there. Mama got her arthritis, Aunt Rose came back from the United States to look after her. Yeah. Right down here. Okay, let's get at this. At least it softened it up quite a bit. You need dry pine cones to make your fire for smoking. You got a good fire? Yep. Do you think you got enough cones? Where'd you get them? Up in the hill. Mm. How long does it take? It doesn't take too long. You need to check on it. And I hope it doesn't get windy now. How much stitches did you get? I don't know. Did you go to the hospital? Yeah. Who brought you? Arthur. Tati went to get him in it. Yeah. Gordy is six, and whenever he's in trouble, I always help him. Let's go see where you racked up. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I can't do 
swear it happened? Yeah. What happened? I come down Fault Hill. His day, his brakes wasn't working. He fell off his bike and he went straight through the barbed wire fence. Straight off the pedal and now put on my brakes and it's in here. And this and this how it pulls off loose. Yeah. Where did you land? Here. Where was your bike? Did your goodies go on the other side of the fence? The no. popcorn? Where'd they go? Here. And that's how you got that cut in your head? Yeah. Did you cry? Yeah. How come? It hurt. That's why. Arthur had to take him to the hospital and he got quite a few stitches on his head and his arm. My sister. Sure. Gordy likes to tell us. <laughs> Every year on May 24th, the Elks make a parade in Lillooet, and the Indians always have a float. I went with the Indians in the parade. This year it's Carmen. Pretty easy to get a soccer game going in in the little tier. Sometimes I play goalie, Go, goalie, and sometimes I play center. It's hard to score a goal because some of the players are much bigger than I am. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up, but I think I really want to be an athlete. <laughs>